Do you need some motivation on starting your fitness journey? Well, you're in luck because in this video, I'm gonna be giving you some top strategies on how to get motivated so that you can start where you're at, so stay tuned. Before I dive into this tip today, make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you get notified every single time I post a new diet tip or workout video. Hey, my name is Jenny J. I'm an online health and fitness expert whose mission is to help women get fit so that they can live healthy, happy, and confident lives. And in this video, we're gonna talk about motivation for getting started on your weight loss journey. Maybe you are a brand new fitness newbie, right? You've never worked out in your life and you're just getting started. Or maybe you are stuck in a rut and you just need that good kick in the butt to get off your weight loss plateau or your fitness rut to get on track to living a healthy and fit lifestyle. Or maybe you just are curious to know what it takes to have consistent motivation year round. Now I get asked this question over and over and over again. And it's something that I want to try to train you to kind of shift your thinking about um, motivation. Because honestly, we use motivation to get us started, but it's really not what helps us last in the long term, right? It helps us get over the hump of like starting our New Year's resolutions and getting started in the very beginning because we are putting so much energy and focus on like creating this new lifestyle for ourselves. But we all know at the end of the day, motivation soon winds down. It starts to become less throughout the week. It becomes less throughout the year. And we end up falling into this roller coaster of starting a weight loss routine or a weight loss plan or a fitness plan and then losing motivation and then going back into your regular old habits. So how can you, instead of doing this roller coaster, how can you create this like consistent um, kind of energy to reach your goals? And I'm going to share with you on how to do that. The first thing that you need to do is you need to get super, super clear on your goal. You need to find clarity on the goal and what result you're truly after. And then number two, you have to make sure that you actually have an action plan to reach that goal. So often people say they want to lose weight, they want to get fit, but we don't understand really what that means. It's just not clear enough. And this is what you have to kind of figure out. You have to use the smart goal setting technique in order to find clarity on the goal. So it needs to have five elements. It needs to have specificity. Losing weight is not specific enough. Exactly how much weight do you wanna lose? It needs to be measurable. What are you gonna do to track it? Number three, it needs to be actionable. What actions are you gonna take? Number four, it needs to be realistic given your starting point and given your life circumstances. And then lastly, number five, it needs to be time bound. It needs to have a deadline, but you need to have clarity on the goal and you need to figure out an action plan to get there because it gives you direction. It gives you focus. If you don't have clarity, if you don't have focus, you don't know what to do. It's like trying to reach a destination that you've never been to without Google Maps or whatever map app that you use. Think about it. When you're trying to reach a new destination that you've never been to before, what do you do? You go into your phone, you go into Google Maps, you type in the exact address or the exact location of where that destination is, you click search, and then it creates a step-by-step -step plan on how to get there. And what that does is it helps us avoid distractions, it helps us to avoid confusion, it helps us to avoid any roadblocks in the road. Because we know exactly how to get there, we are on the fast track to success. But let's say you try to reach a destination that you've never been to, for, been to before and you decide not to bring your phone with you in the car. What's gonna happen? you're gonna be completely lost. You won't even know what the first step is. You won't even know where to go on the freeway. You won't know what exit to turn, a turn off of. You won't know how to get there. It's gonna take you so much longer. You're gonna have to pull over, ask for directions. You're probably gonna take a couple of different detours. You're gonna take U-turns. You're gonna backtrack. You're gonna like just be so fed up with yourself because you had no clarity on where you were going and you had no clarity on where the destination actually was. 
So I want you to approach your fitness goals the same way you would approach trying to reach a new destination, you know, driving. You have to get clear on the destination. And then you gotta lay out the action plan. You gotta lay out the steps and just follow the steps in order. Step number one, this is what I gotta do. Step number two, this is what I gotta do next. Step number three, this is what I gotta do next. And eventually, you're going to get to that goal. It might take you five, 10, 15, 20 steps, but at least you have an action plan. If you don't have an action plan, you are stuck. You will not even get inside your car. You won't even get going. So lack of clarity is the biggest mistake that so many fitness newbies make because they don't even know where they're going or what direction they need to go to and they don't have a clear destination in place. And then the second thing that you gotta do once you get clear on that goal, once you get clear on that action step, on, on that action plan, you gotta start. You just gotta start, you just gotta do it. So often people are trying to find the perfect workout plan. People are trying to find the perfect diet plan that is going to you know, help you lose the 10 pounds in 10 weeks and, and it's gonna be the number one thing. It's gonna be the number one solution, the magic pill, so to speak. But there is no such thing as a perfect workout plan. There is no such thing as a perfect diet plan. And we keep trying to find the magic solution when the magic solution is literally just starting before you're ready. You're not gonna know everything there is to weight loss. You're not gonna know everything there is to nutrition. It is a constant, never ending journey of self-improvement. And if you try to keep waiting for that magic solution, you will never get the results. Failure is not ever reaching the goal. Failure in, in reality is just not starting. I want you to focus on progress, not perfection, because the start is what usually stops people. So I want you to just get started. It's gonna be messy, you're gonna fail, you're probably gonna reach a plateau at some point, you're probably gonna lose motivation at some point, you're probably gonna miss a workout, you're probably gonna backtrack a little bit on your nutrition, and that is okay. The point is progress, not perfection, just get started. And then the third thing that I wanna share and leave you with is instead of focusing on willpower, focus on why power. Why is this goal important to you? Why does it matter to you? Why do you need to reach this goal? Get emotional about it. And I want you to kind of dig deep. Take some time to self-reflect. Why is losing the 50 pounds important? It's not about the weight loss. When we really dig deep and figure out the why behind the goal, you realize it's not about losing the 50 pounds. It's about feeling confident in your skin. It's about looking at yourself in the mirror and being proud of what you see. It's about being able to go out in social settings and not feel like you can't enjoy yourself. It's being able to free yourself from dieting. What is it for you? You gotta figure out that deep why that makes this weight loss goal or this fitness goal so important to you. I almost want to want you to consider, find a why that makes you cry. When you really dig deep, you understand the true reason why you wanna lose the weight. It gives you this sense of true commitment, emotional commitment, physical commitment, mental commitment to reach this goal. Because at the end of the day, this goal that you have is going to help you feel happier. It's going to help you feel more confident. It's gonna help you feel more energized. And that is much more motivating than just trying to lose a couple pounds. So try to get a little bit more emotional, figure out the why power behind the goal, and even write it down. Write it down in your journal, create a vision board, create some visualization of what you wanna look like and how you wanna feel, and start manifesting that into your imagination. Start trying to create that visualization in your head because I know as cheesy as this sounds, if you can't believe it, you won't achieve it. So you need to be able to believe that this can actually happen for you in order for you to actually manifest it in the physical space. And I know I just got a little woo woo there, but I'm telling you, you gotta believe it before you can achieve it. If you don't believe it, if you don't believe that 
working out every single day or eating a salad every single day is gonna help you reach your goal, why would you ever take action on it? Why would you ever start, right? So you gotta actually believe it that it'll work for you. So creating that visualization, creating that why power and writing it down and getting very clear on your goal is gonna be extremely helpful for you. So I hope this helped you. If it did, please like and comment below and let me know what tip resonated with you the most. As always, results are 80% nutrition and 20% fitness, okay? So if you need help on your nutrition and figure out recipes to help you on your fitness journey and your weight loss journey, please go ahead and grab my free sample diet plan. It is in the link in my bio. And that's it. If you want more nutrition tips from me, check out this video here or this video here. And I look forward to talking to you again soon. See you next time.